So this month on the Local Vibe, we are counting down to Christmas, and by doing so, we're highlighting notable businesses, organization, and people who live in the counties that make up our wonderful area. So this morning, we are starting in Wilkes County. And the Wilkes Heritage Museum in Wilkesboro is dedicated to preserving the rich history of the county. And our next live guest is here to share some of that history with us. Let's say good morning to Jennifer Furr joining us live. She is the director of the Wilkes Heritage Museum. Good morning. Good morning. So first off, what is your favorite thing personally about sharing the history of Wilkes through the museum? Well, it's been a large learning curve for me because I did not grow up in Wilkes County. I've been here for 18 years. And so throughout that time, I have been privileged to learn the rich history and heritage of our area. And it's very in depth. It starts with the colonial period, with our involvement with the American Revolution all the way up to the 20th century when big companies such as Lowe's Hardware, a lot of people don't realize that started in Wilkes County. Okay, so wow. we have a very large, long history in so many different areas. Most people think of us as the moonshine capital of the world, um, which, you know, that did of course happen <laughs> here. And that led into racing, which is now NASCAR. Uh, so there's so many different interesting pieces of our history that fit together to make us who we are today. Well, Jennifer, hopefully guests when they come visit the museum can see some of those interesting artifacts throughout the years. Can you sort of speak on that? Yes, uh, we are located in the old Wilkes County Courthouse, uh, right in the heart of downtown historic Wilkesboro. In this building alone, we have over 20,000 square feet of exhibit space that goes in depth about early settlements, early people who moved to this area, all the way to our rich military history, our early businesses and industries like Lowe's and Holly Farms, which is today Tyson. So you'll find we have a race car, we have a moonshine still, we have a chicken house, we have a cow. <laughs> <laughs> We've got a little mm -hmm. bit of everything. And we also have two other buildings. We have the Old Wilkes Jail, which was built in 1859, which if you're familiar with the Kingston Trio song, Hang Down Your Head, Tom Dooley, that all, of course, happened here in Wilkes County. Uh, it was an 1860s era murder that happened here. And then we also have the Captain Robert Cleveland Log Home, which was built in 1779. So all three of our buildings, the, the old courthouse was built in 1902, then we have the jail in 1859, and we have the Cleveland House in 1779. So we take people back 300 years through three different centuries to discover our history and heritage. Well, and of course you brought up music. So tell mm -hmm. us about the Blue Ridge Music Hall of Fame and some of those inductees. Yes, we are the home of the Blue Ridge Music Hall of Fame. We're 2023 will be our 15th annual induction ceremony coming up in March. We have uh, just a whole different genre of artists that have been inducted throughout that time period, including Doc Watson, for which Merle Fest, he founded Merle Fest here in Wilkes County, a huge music festival that people come from all over the world to Wilkes County to be a part of for four days in April. Um, we have George Hamilton IV, who grew up just down the road in Winston-Salem, and so many other great musicians that have their roots here in Wilkes County. And we just want to make people aware of all of that rich music. We have concerts that happen throughout the year to highlight some of those artists. We also have Carolina in the fall in September, which happens right here on the campus of the Wilkes Heritage Museum in downtown Wilkesboro. So if you want to listen to music, you just come to Wilkes County and you'll find it everywhere. Well, there you have it. And Jennifer, before we let you go, any other special events you'd like to highlight throughout the rest of next year even? Yes, we have, uh, well, evidently every older building in downtown Wilkesboro is haunted. So we have developed uh, <laughs> candlelight ghost tours that happen April through October, and they go through some of our historic buildings here. Uh, we have our concert series. We partner with the Wilkes County Library and the Wilkes Art Gallery, and quarterly we host different genres of music here at the museum. We have children's programs, lectures. A couple of weeks ago, we had our Christmas open house. You can see one of our Christmas trees in the background. Uh, at our Cleveland house, we have open hearth cooking demonstrations. Mary Bolin, one of our volunteers, she'll go there. She can make anything over an open fire. It's just absolutely amazing. And she also offers occasionally 
cooking classes, open hearth cooking classes. So you get to learn how to cook uh, 18th century style. Very cool. Wow. Yeah, awesome. Jennifer, thanks so much for your time this morning on the local vibe. The Wilkes Heritage Museum is located on East Main Street in Wilkesboro. For those of you at home to start planning your visit, you can visit WilkesHeritageMuseum.com, <laughs> the website you see on your screen now.